Welcome to another love reading with yours. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. This may or may not resonate with every Leo watching this video. Candice Lord, guys, you could have dealt with this energy or will be dealing with in the near future. And, um, of course, if you need a personal reading, that information is going to be down below. We have the Five of Wands in reverse and the Nine of Wands in reverse. You're giving up on something. Something that creates a lot of drama in your life. Either there are too many people involved within the relationship or the situation. Or every single time you're with this person, there's just nothing but drama and con conflict. Okay, And you're ready to release it. You're ready to release that tension and conflict. You don't want no drama anymore. Okay, You're done fighting for this. And you cannot push through anymore. You could have come through a very long way with this person. Okay, But now you're done. It's like I'm fed up. Screw it. You have nothing left in you. You have no more fight left is what I'm hearing, okay? You're giving up on that situation. And what's crossing or influencing this is... You're trying to avoid a disaster. It's almost like you're trying to dodge a bullet, okay? Maybe you feel that this is leading to a disaster, okay? From within, you probably feel that this is going through a disaster and you want to avoid this disaster, okay? And probably you feel this is just not going on the right way or this is just not going in the right direction. And you're trying to avoid this, okay? Your challenge is to avoid this disaster. You need to... Um, maybe if you give up, is what I'm getting, maybe that could lead to a disaster, okay? So your challenge is to avoid this disaster. Maybe you need to persevere a little more, but you're fed up. You're fed up. You're not being able to do this anymore. Too many people again or too much nagging or two people not on the same page constant bickering at arguments etc right you're taking a break from this person you're taking a break from this person so what i'm getting is that instead of completely uh breaking this off instead of completely like getting a breakup or a separation you're choosing to avoid this breakup, okay, your challenge is to avoid this breakup or you want to avoid this breakup and that's why you're pulling back is what I'm getting. You're pulling back because I guess when you're with this person again, you guys are just not on the same page or things are just, the timing is just off. It's just not coming together, okay, and you're choosing to take a break. You're choosing to take a time out, okay. So there could be a situation where you guys, there's dead like silence between you guys or one person's just retreated completely, okay. Yeah, because there's a lack of cooperation, there's a lack of compromise, you guys are just not coming together. You guys are not on the same page. This is a one-sided situation. The person who's fed up here is fed up because they're getting exhausted. They're like, I am always trying to build this relationship. I'm the one who's already putting the effort and you're just not doing anything about it. Two people out here, either there's a third party situation, which I don't feel like it is much, could be, not for everyone, but what I'm picking up is that there is, you guys are just not being able to come together, okay? One person out here feels that, you know what, again, I'm getting not on the same page. You two, you two want two different things, okay? And one person is trying to force this relationship, okay? And they're tired, exhausted, beaten, wounded, okay? And now they're like, I am done. I'm done is what I'm getting, okay? I need a break. Like, I need a breather. I'm out. In the past, this could have been a situation which could have stressed the shit out of you, okay? This this person or this situation was on your mind on a constant basis, okay? And it literally gave you sleepless nights. So, yeah, this was something that you were stressing out a lot about and this person really wasn't ready to be with you or collaborate and want this teamwork with you, okay? And probably the reason is because this is lacking. You either want, either you want a commitment or you want a marriage or whatever this is, okay? But your situation in the near future I'm seeing is still not reaching that point of stability and security, okay? This, there is either you're going to cop out because you think this is a bad investment or you just feel that something's not holding their ground. Something's not being grounded. Something's not holding that security that you're looking for, okay? Because the queen of pentacles will never involve or invest her uh, invest into something that does not have potential. And that's what's happening. There is a relationship here 
which probably even has potential that there is a lack of work you guys are not being able to put in the work or one person your your is just not with you and you're trying to avoid this because you feel you know what you're heading towards destruction okay so you're like you know what all right it's me i'm done i can be the bad one but i'm done i'm taking a break see you cut this person off you cut this person off okay and then you cut this person off they cut you off whatever okay one person has cut the other person off and now this person's very bitter very vengeful okay someone's very angry here very angry and there's one person in who wants to take action because they're very passionate about you and um they they have that chemistry with you and the king of wands okay this guy is someone who is hell-bent on making things happen okay he knows what he wants and he gets what he wants when he wants okay he's very zoned in on you you may be pissed off with him you may be angry with him okay but um you could have cut him off okay you could have cut communication or you could have just told him by your words about how angry you are but this person is still going to pursue this one person is wanting to pursue this and the other person is like fuck you i'm done because in your emotions if you've cut this person off your emotions you want justice you want equal balance fairness equal give and take okay if i'm putting in this much you put in this much okay you meet me in the middle you don't expect me to come all the way there and then you're just taking one step that doesn't work okay because i'm getting a situation here where you walk the entire mile for someone who's not walking even taking a step towards you but what is the confusion here is that there's st- there is this person here who's ready to take action and probably this is a change of scenario so it's almost like the tables have turned you took a break from this person because they were not ready to be with you not ready to be in a team with you not ready to build with you 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 got fed up you're tired this could the situation could have stressed the shit out of you earlier okay and now you're not investing into this connection anymore you cut this shit off the moment you did this the moment you let it go that's when they want to come back and they want to come back and they want to take action okay however in the near future i feel you're going to be indecisive someone's going to be indecisive okay because i still see a disconnection here okay i think maybe you're just too angry and you don't trust this person anymore you don't trust this person it's like you know what you, you're you're done you're not wanting to invest into this because you feel it's just not worth it you know it's not worth it but let me tell you this if you're the one doing this you're making a very you're taking a very emotionally biased approach to this okay the queen of pentacles is a very grounded very practical woman okay she she thinks very logically you out here because you're angry because you feel you put in all the effort and this person's not doing anything right your, your your decisions the reason you're not investing into this person is because agreed you guys are not on the same page okay but this person wants to take action towards you they want you they want to pursue you they could have had a lot of suitors okay that could be one of the reasons again i don't see cheating here but with the three of pentacles in reverse which is the reason for the reading there could be a third person involved here and that's why we have the lovers here in reverse someone needs to make a choice between two people two situations or there is a third person who's influencing this entire situation between you and this person okay there's a third person here it does not have to be a romantic interest okay it could be a family friend um family parents mother sister whoever okay but there's one person here was constantly involved constantly being involved in your situation okay that's why there is a lack of making a decision someone's just not being able to make the right choice here is what i'm getting and you're angry now you're pissed off you could have been very invested in the situation now you're like you know what i'm backing off you're backing off because you want to release this tension it brings a lot of drama to your life and you don't want that drama that's what i'm getting for you I hope this reading resonates with you. We'll leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.